Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am excited about this week's workout because if you followed last week's video, you know that I took you through a reformer workout. Now I know reformers are a luxury and not everybody has one. So this week I have adapted those exercises to the mat. So you're gonna get a complete full body with a core and leg focus in 20 minutes, maybe a little bit less. Okay, and if you enjoyed this workout, don't forget to hit that like button below. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so, so you can stay up to date on all the things that I post. And without wasting another minute, let's grab our mats and get started. Let's get started by coming to standing position on your mat. We're going to replicate the footwork series in a standing position. Let's start with our feet in Pilates pose. So heels together, toes are a little bit apart, about a fist distance apart. Okay, aiming the tailbone right down to the mat. We're going to inhale as you bend the legs so it's not pressing those hips back, okay? Or those sit bones back. We wanna make sure that tailbone stays down. And then come back up on the exhale, wrapping the thighs around, engaging those glutes, outer thighs and inner thighs glue together. Here we go again, inhale. Exhale, pull everything up and in, inhale. We're also engaging that pelvic floor, abdominals are connecting, and exhale, and down, and exhale, connect everything, and five, four, three, keep wrapping, and two, and one, beautiful. We're gonna bring the heels apart, our feet are now parallel. Okay, so we're trying to mimic now the wrapping of the toes over the foot bar. So I want you to think about lifting through the arches a little bit. So you're really digging the balls of your feet, the toes into the mat, as well as your heels. You'll feel some engagement in the back of the legs already. And inhale, bend. Same thing, tailbone presses down. Exhale, lengthen. All the muscles on the legs are working hard. In and exhale. In, exhale, connect that pelvic floor and abdominal in and exhale, and in, exhale. The knees are tracking right over the big toe and the second toe, and four more. Good, three, I should feel those back of the legs working already. Two more, good, and one more. Stay tall through the spine, very nice. Now, heels, so toes are lifted. We're pressing right down through those heels, and we're gonna add a little bit of arms. Inhale, shoulder height. Exhale, press back with resistance. And in, exhale. And in, exhale. In, exhale. In, exhale. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Good. And one. Nice. Now, tendon stretch. This is where we work the ankles and we work your calf muscles. So I want you to lift your heels just slightly off the mat. Okay, we're still gonna use the arms. As you inhale, we bend down, still pressing that tailbone right down. Exhale, come up, but don't lower the heels. And down and up. Make sure your knees are still tracking over the second toe and the big toe. And in and exhale. Let's do two more like this. In and exhale. One more in. Exhale, now we go down halfway, stay there. Heels are still lifted, now press the heels down, lift them up. Press down, lift them up. Press down, lift them up. Two more, down, up, one more, up. Press the heels down, lengthen up. We're gonna go into the second position. So open your legs wider than hip distance, externally rotate the leg. Still aiming the tailbone right down to the mat. Gonna use the arms still just to get that whole body warmed up. Inhale and exhale, press through those inner thighs, wrap the outer thighs in and exhale, in and exhale, in, pelvic floor abdominals, in, exhale, good. Five, four, three, two, and one more here, beautiful. Bring the legs together. Let's go down to the mat and get ready for the 100s, okay? Let's come down onto one knee, to your side, and then 
roll over onto your back. Arms long by your side, lengthen up through the spine, back of the neck stays long, legs bent. Take an inhale, exhale to bring your legs up to tabletop. Okay, breathe in again. Exhale to curl up, extend the legs and 45 degrees. It can be higher if it feels like too much on your back or lower if you can take it. Start pumping the arms and one, two, three, four, five. It can be a long breath for one, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, or pumping. Okay, do the breath that works for you. Make sure on those exhales, you're really scooping the abdominals in. Five more. Two. Last one. Good. Bend the legs in. Press the head down. Great. Continuing with coordination. So for this one, elbows stay pressed to the mat, but we bend the elbows 90 degrees and our legs are also at a 90 degree angle. Ideally, the head is going to stay up for the whole exercise. So let's start with that inhale. Exhale to float the head and the shoulders off the mat. Now, as you inhale, extend the arms and the legs simultaneously. Open and close the leg three times like you're squeezing a resistance. Two and one. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Extend both. Open and close three times. Three, two, one. Bend and bend. One more time. Extend both. And open and close. Three, two, one. One, bend and bend and then release down. Fantastic. Okay, now we're moving on to where we put our feet in the straps to do our leg series. So this is frog in leg circles. It's gonna be even better abdominal workout on the mat than it is on the reformer. Okay, so we start with our legs um, in frog position. Heels are together, knees are open as wide as your shoulders, head, Hands go behind the head. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale once again to float the shoulders and the head off the mat. As you inhale, extend the legs, wrapping those outer thighs in, bend it in, squeezing those inner thighs together in, and exhale. So make sure you get the work through the legs as well. Good, and out and in, out and in, Five, four, abs really need to stay pulled in as you extend out. Two, no arching through that lower back. And one, we stay out for circles, out, around, together. Exhale up and down, around and up, down, around and up. Now you can stay higher if it's too much for you to hold here. Good, reverse, exhale and up and around, down, up and around. Two more. Make sure everything stays nice and tight. Last one, bend, lower the head and just take a moment to breathe. And just notice all that work that you've done. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to your side and come to your hands and knees. So now we're going to do the exercise that mimics the exercise that we did on the box, which were leg lifts and donkey kicks, focusing obviously on the legs, but it works your core, obliques like crazy, glutes, and so on. Wrists right under the shoulders, okay? Make sure the back of the neck stays long, abdominals are pulled in. So I'm gonna start here with my left leg. I'm just bringing my left leg out to the side. Okay, you're going to lift it up, touch the other side, lift and back over to the side that you started. So it's an inhale and an exhale to come back. <sighs> inhale and an exhale to come back. <sighs> inhale and an exhale to come back. <sighs> Good, in and exhale back. <sighs> in 
and exhale back. And one more in and exhale back to the side. Bend the knee in, keep it floating off the mat, flex the foot like you're pushing through mud here. Extend that leg parallel to the mat and bend it in and out. Inhale, exhale, bend it in and out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Last one, out and bring it down. Other leg to the side. Here we go. Inhale up, touch the back, up to the side and inhale, exhale back around and four more up and around and three and around and two and around. Last one and around. Okay, bend it in, keep floating that knee off the mat, flex the foot, inhale and in, press out and in, press it out and in, press out and in, two more, press out and in, last one, press out and bring it in, fantastic, take a nice inhale, exhale, sit back on your heels for just a moment. Come up, turn to your side again, and roll over onto your back. Getting ready next for our abdominal series that we also did on the box last time. Okay, so that was definitely a little bit more challenging for the upper body because you have to keep your head and shoulders floating so it doesn't fall back on the box. Still gonna be hard the, on the mat. Single leg stretch, pull the left leg in, right hand on the inside of the knee, left hand on the outside of your ankle, other leg extends to 45 degrees, lower or higher. Make sure your foot is touching that stretched leg and pressing against each other so we continue to activate through the legs. Okay, float the upper body up, here we go. Exhale, and, and, Engaging those abs even deeper with every exhale. Three and two and one more double leg stretch. Feet together, knees apart, hands on your shins. Inhale, extend the arms and the legs. Exhale, wrap it all in. Inhale and exhale. Again, as you extend the abs, stay pulled in tight. No arching in the lower back. Two more, one more. Okay, this is where we can give our head a rest. Scissors, pull, pull, let them touch each other and then change. Good, and one, one, together. Together, exhale, exhale, together. Up, up, make sure that your hips are not doing a dance of any sort, so they're staying nice and still connected and wrapped. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. Last one. And together, let's bring the feet now parallel. Hands behind the head for lower and lift. Lower down. Two, three, up. Two, three, down. Two, three, up. Two, three, down. Two, three, up. Two, three, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, bend it in, bring your feet down, turn to your side, excellent, I don't know about you, but I'm sweating already here, okay, <clears throat> next one, long stretch on the reformer, plank position here on the mat, but it's gonna be a little bit of a moving plank to challenge the body a little bit more. If the moving part of it is too much, just hold the plank, that's also fine. We're gonna bring the forearms down to the mat. Your um, elbows and your shoulders are in the same alignment. Extending the legs behind you, making sure that those hips don't stay up like this. We are down as flat as we can be, belly pulled in. So inhale, come up on your tippy toes, Exhale, lower the heels and up 
and lower down. Up, lower down. Two more. Up, lower down. One more. Up, lower down. Now as a bonus, inhale, lift the left leg, bring it down. Right leg, bring it down. Left and down. Right and down. Two more. Left and down. Last one. Up, down. Bring the knees down. Hands under the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, round the spine up to the ceiling. Release. Fabulous job. Okay. Variation now on the knee stretches. Okay, so your wrists are still under your shoulders. You're taking a nice inhale. Curl the toes under. Exhale, floating the knees off the mat and then bring it down. Exhale and up and down. Every time we lift and float those knees, we're engaging into the core, we're engaging into the pelvic floor especially. Inhale and up and lower. And up and down. Good, exhale up and lower down. Exhale up and lower down. Now you can continue to just float the knees up for the next one. Or the next challenge is gonna be we float the knees up and we're gonna just extend one leg behind us and back. Three times on one side, three times on the other side. Inhale, exhale, float it up and without letting the hips drop and press back and in. Press back and in. One more here, press back and in and we switch sides. Press back and in. Two, one more and down. Take a nice inhale. Exhale back onto your heels. Nice deep breath in. Okay, before we do running, we're actually gonna do the pelvic lift. So we're gonna reverse the order that we do this in um, on the reformer, just so that we do everything we need to do on the mat before I get you standing. So as you inhale, lift the hips up, keep the ribs Pressing down to your hips so we're not floating those ribs open. We're connecting and then lower down. Okay, so just focus on the opening of the hips here. Inhale, press up and down. Inhale, press up and down. Inhale, press up and down. Good. Inhale, press up and down and press up. Lower down. Good, and up and down, two more. Inhale, up and down. Last time, up and exhale, down. Turn to your side. Okay, hands and knees. Come up to your knees, press one leg out in front of you and with control, just come right up to standing. And we have our feet in parallel position again. You're standing nice and tall through the spine. Just feel equal weight across all points of your feet. Shoulders are engaged. You're reaching your fingertips down to the mat with control. Now we come up onto the toes, lower one heel, bend the opposite leg. So it's inhale, exhale, when you lower up and down, up and down. Okay, so the hips again are not doing a dance. You stay tall, you keep reaching the crown of your head up the entire time, and when that heel drops, you're not floating that hip. Feel like you're always floating up and keeping this very light. And exhale, you can go faster or slower. Eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, three, two, one. Lift both, press both down, and congratulations, you have completed this workout. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you here next week. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.